it is time once again for our monthly guide. And believe it or not, it is September. I don't know how we got here, but we like to make these monthly guides because there is so much to see and do and experience in Boise. And it is one of those cities that really runs on word of mouth. So if you don't know something's happening, you might miss it. Now, in our guides, we love to have things you absolutely have to do this month, the foods you need to be eating, and for our budget-friendly people, something that is free. I always love getting a freebie this month. So today joining us, we have Katie, aka Traveling Spud. You might have seen her on Instagram. We also have Evelyn, our producer, and they have compiled a list of things that you have to do, things that are free, and food you need to be eating this month. Yay, happy to be here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I'm so glad that both of you could join me today. Um, Katie, I wanted to throw it to you first. And the category I always like to start with is the thing that you absolutely have to do this month. So just right off the bat, getting people excited for September. So Katie, what, what do people need to check out this month? Okay. One of my favorite events, September, first of all, has a lot of events happening. One of my favorites is the Hyde Park Street Fair. And that is September 13th through 15th. If you haven't been before, it's kind of a hippie dippy fair. I really Ooh, like it though. Okay. Lots of vendors and booths and music and lots of different types of events. Usually they'll do yoga and sound baths and there's belly dancers and all sorts of stuff. Um, I usually just go to browse. People watching is really great. The music's usually really fun and it's just a great time to get outside and enjoy. It's also free. So it's kind of a two for one here. Oh, perfect. Okay. I love me a free must see. Um, in Hyde Park, parking can be tricky. Do you have any insider tips of where to park or how to get there or how to access this, this event? You know, if you're I, coming if from you out can, of the area, I, if you can, I would recommend biking. That's kind of how a lot of people get there. If you have an e-bike or regular bike, um, or it's, or you could, Bring your bikes and park somewhere that's a little bit further out and then bike there because the parking, you're right, it's really crazy over there. So that's probably would be my tip. Or you can park somewhere kind of in the north end neighborhood and just walk from your car. It's usually fun to see the old houses over there anyway. Okay, so what is your absolute favorite thing that you've seen or favorite vendor that you've seen when you've gone to the Hyde Park Street Fair? I always like to try to find, I'm tr I hope I'm not botching this name, Darjeeling Momo. It's like my favorite food truck ever. And I've only ever seen them there. And the line is super long, but it's so worth it. It's these dumplings and noodles, and I can't even explain how good they are. But I always try to go there to find them. And then I all, also love, I love crystals. So I love to go peruse the different crystal booths because there's a lot of them there okay I was gonna say between that and sound baths and yoga this sounds like <laughs> a, a very relaxing event which we don't often have in Boise I would say it's a relaxing mixed with not relaxing because there's a lot of people there and the music's <laughs> going on and like there's a lot but you can kind of find peace within the chaos okay some balance we're gonna have balance yes. for whatever anybody's looking for yeah exactly Evelyn, what, what is your must-do activity for September in Boise? Yeah, Boise likes to be a little bit quirky, and we are, we've are we been doing Pride in September. Um, so I think that my must-do event is attending a drag brunch. Ooh. There is one on um, September 8th. This is the second Sunday Slay brunch, and I think this is going to kick off Pride Week. Um, this was... Last year was the first time I attended a Pride brunch, and it was life-changing. I loved it. It was so much fun. We did the whole, like, getting your waffles, your eggs, bacon. Of course, we paid for the bottomless mimosas, and I do not regret it one bit. It was a really, really good time, and it was a great show. I think so. the bottomless mimosas are a must <laughs> for a drag brunch. That's just, yeah, like, that's absolutely. required. Yeah, you got to get your group together, book your tickets, um, get your bottomless mimosas going. It's a good time. And um, we had Coco Frio on the podcast. Um, and, you know, she came and gave us um, a guide on how to drag brunch. So 
check that out first and then go to your drag brunch. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Well, for for my must do activity, this one is a little different, um, but it's the Nampa Oktoberfest. And that is going to be happening at the Nampa Civic Center on Friday, September 27th. So something to look forward to after all of the different events in September. Head to Oktoberfest, have some good beer, relax, get ready for fall. Um, There are a lot of Oktoberfest activities happening around the Treasure Valley, but um, I've heard some really good things about this one. And right now, just... You know, if you're listening to this podcast right when it comes out, the first 100 tickets are only $7. So I love me a good deal. Jump on that if you're interested. Um, Tickets then will be $10 until September 26th. And the day of the event, tickets are $12. So you can save yourself a little money if you plan ahead. And they are going to have music by the Boise Edelweiss Band. And I guess they do authentic German music. So get you into the celebration. That's if you're at Oktoberfest, you've got to have music. This is a family friendly event. And a lot of Oktoberfests aren't um, because it's a lot of drinking. But this one, you can bring your kids. Um, They're going to be having pony rides and a coloring contest for the kids so they can participate. Um, I love, you know, events where you can go with your family. Um, They're also going to be having a stein holding competition they're going to be having a barmaid strength contest so ladies nice <laughs> this is your <laughs> chance um they're going to, they're going to be having a costume contest so if you got the leader hosen make sure you're showing up in it and a brat eating contest so a little something for everyone um and the event will be from 5 p.m. until i'm you know i guess whenever it ends when everybody's done Um, but yeah, just kind of, you know, maybe something a little different for September that you can bring your whole family to. That's cool. Yeah. Lindsay, I'm surprised that you didn't say your must do event is attending the second brat night with the tree fort hall. (laughs) You know, I, (laughs) a good way to wrap up brat summer heading into brat autumn. Maybe? Yes. No, it was it was a mix. Of, well, I wasn't sure if you were going to do that. So I, was, I didn't want to take that event from you. <laughs> but that is that is a good mention. You get one more shot at ending your brat summer. Yeah. Our Hey Boise newsletter editor, Blake Hunter, went to the first one. I didn't make it. So then they were like, hey, round two, like you better be going. Sent me the link. and was like, you better be there. OK. I didn't say everybody. <laughs> so we got to go. <laughs> you got to go. You got to go. What was the date for that, Evelyn? Okay, so it's on September 19th, and this is the second Brat Charlie Club XCX night, Thursday, September 19th at the Tree Fort Music Hall. Okay, everybody show up. Before, before we really <laughs> slip into demure, mindful, cutesy fall, <laughs> get the last of your brat in. Evelyn, what is a food or a drink or something that people absolutely need to be trying in September? It just is September in Boise, and they need to try it. Yeah, once September hits and you start feeling that like crispy autumn little breeze, but it's still warm and you're like, Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I feel fall coming, but I still kind of want to hang on to summer. I think that spending time at local wineries or tasting rooms is Mm -hmm. the way to go. You're avoiding the crazy heat. You're kind of taking in the scenery. The whole harvest season is starting to begin Um, And there's a lot of events. I think a lot of local wineries are starting to get ready for festivals and fun events. So I know that Sawtooth is doing their second annual vintage car show on September 8th. And then their neighbors, St. Chappelle, they're doing their end of the summer bash on September 14th. Um, And then in Nampa, there's so much going on. I know. Yeah. Then in Nampa, They're doing their first annual wine festival. They're doing that at Lloyd Square Park. Um, So I think that's going to be fun, September 26th. So I think I'm going wine. I think you need to be drinking wine in September. Okay, what what wine are you most looking forward to or or what winery are you like you absolutely have to go there? That's that's Evelyn's September pick. I absolutely adore spending my t- or I love spending time at Sawtooth Winery and then hopping over to St. Chapelle. I like doing both. I'll make a whole day of it. 
Um, I love sitting outside. I'll order a charcuterie board. Um, And then depending on the time, we'll either do like the mimosa flights that Sawtooth has or um, yeah, maybe just a classic rosé. Um, but yeah, St. Chappelle has this like huckleberry sparkling wine. Ooh, that is my favorite. I think it's so good, (laughs) but I'm not like, I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional. Like I just enjoy the vibes. (laughs) No, that's perfect. I I don't need that professional. I need to know like, what am I going to (laughs) like? Like what's going to be delicious? (laughs) Yes. Okay. Katie, what is your must try food or drink for September? What do people need to check out? Okay. So Going off of your Oktoberfest situation, I think you guys need to try some bratwurst or schnitzel or some sort of German-themed Ooh. food and beer, since we're doing mm, wine. Okay. Beer yes. Too. Okay. So Das Alpenhaus Deli in Boise, um, it's actually Treasure Valley's only German deli and market, and they're having an Oktoberfest also September 20th and 21st, and they have... All of their selections of bratwurst, schnitzel sandwiches, schnitzel schnitzel with fries. Um, And also you can get different dishes with sauerkraut and stuff. So if you really want to get in the vibe of Oktoberfest, I think this is a great option. And then obviously they have beer as well. And then Payette Brewing is also doing Oktoberfest. So it sounds like there's a lot of different Oktoberfest options. I was going to say, Whoa. there are, there are many, many Oktoberfest options for you there in September. Are. Yeah. And Payette Brewing is, they have like six different food trucks that are all doing a theme of um, Oktoberfest and German cuisine. So I think trying Ooh. brat or some schnitzel, if I, I can yeah. say it right. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> oh, Katie, I, do you, I don't know what schnitzel is. What is schnitzel? Okay. It's like... I hope it's, I'm saying this right. It's like um, it's chicken or pork, and it's like slammed thinly. I don't know how to explain it exactly. And then it's breaded and Ooh. fried, and it's so good. Okay, that sounds amazing. That is not what I pictured. I pictured more like <laughs> some kind of a brat or something, but that sounds really good. Yeah, it is really good. It's kind of like a surprisingly good thing to eat. Okay, um, so th- and then yeah, so this with might sauerkraut? be the month. Oh yeah, with sauerkraut. <laughs> so this might be the month. Listeners, check out all of the Oktoberfest. Then let us know what is the best. Like, what is peak Oktoberfest in Boise since there's so many options? Yes. I have never done an Oktoberfest. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, you know, my favorite one is in old Boise, and they aren't doing it this year. I looked it up. Oh, so no. I was a little okay. bummed out about that. But then I looked up other options, and these other ones sound pretty fun. Yeah, I say a new favorite. Room for a new favorite. Exactly. Okay, so September is when I am very ready for it to get a little bit chillier. I, I like let's not let's not have it be so hot. No more a hundred degrees. Um, and once it gets a little bit cool, I love soup. I'm ready for soup. I'm I'm soup? a soup. Yes, I am a soup girly. What? I love soup. Soup is amazing. Just it because is... you feel this little breeze, you're like ready to go. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, wow. Yeah, I'm, oh, wow. The minute I'm like. No soups in the summer? Mm, no, mm. I'm just not feeling Don't it. I'm, okay. It's okay. Salads for the summer, soups for the fall. Okay. Um, yeah, the minute it like starts to get a tiny bit chilly in the morning, I'm all about the black leggings and let's have some soup. Okay. Um, and I have just been absolutely adoring pho real. And they are on Fort Street in Boise near the North End Boise Co-op. And I am dreaming of this pho. Like, I've I've had it several times now. Like, I'm finding excuses to go there and (laughs) and get it because it is so, so, so good. Um, I've had their rare, rare steak pho and their shrimp pho, and both were absolutely amazing. You get this giant bowl of it. Um, and they, they will put all the toppings like on the side and you can add it as much as you want, you know, cilantro, the, the steak or the shrimp. I will probably be there every week in September because I absolutely love it. And I'm, I'm ready for my soup. Ooh, I need to go there. That's I've never been. That sounds amazing. Oh, it's so, it is, it is my favorite pho that I've had in Boise. It is so, so good. And in keeping with the theme, 
of, of, you know, our September guide. They also have Korean, Japanese, and Thai beers. And those have been really interesting to try while having the pho. Okay, Katie, now for our budget conscious option, the free thing that people need to check out in Boise in September. What, what is something free people can do in this area in September? One of my favorite things since even I was a little girl is art in the park. And that's my free thing for September. It's actually coming up September 6th through 8th. It's in Julia Davis Park. It's been going on for 70 years. Wow. There are over 200 vendors throughout the park. And I love it because it's all things art, like ceramics to paintings to knitting to jewelry to you know, all sorts of stuff. Plus they do live music performances. There's dancers. And of course there's food trucks all near the green belt. And I just think it's a fun thing to do. You can bring your kids. There's, there's also a kid's art tent where they can do activities. Mm. Um, so I think it's a great thing to do for the whole family. I love going every year. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Okay. So what, what do people know? You know, it's in Julia Davis. There's not necessarily lots of parking. So what are your insider tips for like making the most of art in the park? Um, I think so. Again, if you can bike ride, that'd be great. If you can take the public transportation, take, take a bus. That's also great. Um, the way the vendors are set up is kind of in strips. So I kind of just like to meander through, check out all the different art And then, of course, go for like a lunch. So that's typically what I'd be doing. And then most of the activities for kids are Saturday and Sunday. So if I had kids, I'd probably be going Saturday or Sunday, getting some lunch, taking them to the art events, and then staying for a little bit of music. I think that's kind of the perfect day for me. That is really good. Do you know uh, the hours? Like how, how late does it go? How early does it start? Just so people can make sure and get there in a time that works for their schedules. So the, uh, yeah, the hours are Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So it goes pretty late those days. Mm. And then Sunday, it's 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, perfect. Oh, that sounds like, that sounds like the perfect day. Yeah, it's such a fun free event for the whole family. I mean, obviously you'd have to pay for food, but then there's all the vendors and so much stuff to look at and do, so. Yeah, I, I really love, um, how you how there are these events in in Boise where you can take your kids and go look at art and support local creators. I I just think that's such a fun thing that our community really supports. I agree. Wait, really quick, Katie, did you say you've been going since you were a kid? Yeah. Is that what I heard? Okay. I grew up in Twin Falls, so we had different we yeah. also had one. And then oh, I would okay. come here and visit my grandparents in Boise and we'd go to it too. Yeah, Aww. I'm really I'm really curious since you said you've been going since you were a kid, how have you watched it kind of evolve throughout the years? How has it changed or has it just remained the same and you kind of just like love the tradition of it? Um, it's gotten bigger, but also I used to do all the kid art and it just inspired me to be more creative just in general. So mm-hmm. my mom would sign me up for all the little activities and we'd do all sorts of cool crafts. And I loved it. And now as an adult, I kind of wish that I could do that still again and go into the kids art tent. But um, I love to just see all the other artists and then hang out and eat, of course, and listen to the music. Maybe the creators will hear about how much you wish you could go back to the kid tent and they will be like, Katie, here is a special pass for you and let you You back in. (laughs) I would love that. Or just have an adult art tent. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they do. And I just don't know about (laughs) that. But that would be great. I think that would be really, I would like to try, you know, just like try to create something without, you know, pressure, just, just enjoy being in that, you know, being with all those creators. I think Katie, we need to contact them. That's something that needs to happen. (laughs) That sounds good. (laughs) All right, Evelyn, what is your free thing that people absolutely need to check out this September? Okay, you two, I need to know, have you spent any time on the Indian Creek Plaza this summer? Yes. No. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, um, now's your chance, Katie. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just saying. But um, <laughs> so there is the Indian Creek Festival, which is on September 13th and September 14th. And um, this festival, it started in 2003. Um, I believe they were 
celebrating that they unveiled this like area of Indian Creek. And from there, they just started throwing festivals. Um, but yeah, it's just a really, really fun event. They do like car shows um, and tug of war, chalk art, like all these different things just to kind of bring the community together. But the event that is the biggest event and the one that everyone's most excited about is these cardboard kayak races on in the water. Like <laughs> Wait, in <what>? the creek. <laughs> okay. Wait, cardboard in the water? Yes, it's crazy. So these teams, they sign up and they do their themes. They decorate their cardboard boxes. All they have is duct tape and cardboard boxes and they have to create this kayak and they race through Indian Creek. Um, and yeah, they, I don't, it's crazy. Do they it's get so in it? fun. Yeah. They're inside these boxes Oh, I was and they're mini. racing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's really cool to just, um, yeah, go and watch <laughs> these races because you'll watch some people are just killing it. Like they created the most amazing kayak and they are speeding through the little Creek. Um, and then there's others who are just falling apart and there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, they're flooding They're Yeah titanic style oh uh, i need to wow see that. <laughs> okay how wait how have i never even heard of this before yeah it is it's a big deal i think it's really exciting especially as i've talked about in previous episodes that we've done um being the caldwell girly that i am watching indian creek um and the whole plaza and just all of downtown caldwell grow has been really really amazing and so mm -hmm. yeah it's exciting to see it thrive and to bring more people over into that festival. When can I ask, when is the cardboard kayak race? <laughs> what, what are we calling that? <laughs> that? Yeah. The cardboard kayak races. So that's on Saturday from two to 3 PM Saturday, September 14th from two to 3 PM. And then you can go on the city of Caldwell's website and there you can sign up for um, you can sign your team up for the race and there's volunteer opportunities. If you want to show off your car, if you want to do chalk, all of that tug of war volunteer opportunities, you can find that on the city of Caldwell's website, but I think it'll be a, it'll be a good show. Yeah. Are there, are there any vendors that you're specifically going to be checking out or, or any other activities that I, I mean, I didn't know about the cardboard thing. Any other activities that people should know about? Ooh. Um, I'm not too sure about like which vendors and all that, but I will definitely be in downtown Caldwell. I'll probably stop by Flying M to grab a coffee and a pastry. Um, and probably Friday night, there's live music. There's live music on Friday night. So maybe I'll stop by Casa Añejo, get a margarita and then head over to watch some live music. Sounds like the perfect evening. Yes. What about you, Lindsay? What are you, um, what is your free event? Okay. My free event, because, because Boise is a little different. We do things a little differently. So my free event in September is Boise pride. That's Yay. right. Woo! Not, Yay! yeah, woo! It's pride. <laughs> not, not in June. I mean, there are activities in June, but you know, September is really when Boise does pride. Um, and this will be the 35th Boise pride festival. And it's going to be from September 13th through the 15th at Cecil D. Andrus Park. So that's the location, the park in front of the Capitol, where it usually is. Still going to be there. Now, Pride, the Pride Festival at the park is free. There are also events, if you go to the Boise Pride website, um, from Wednesday through Sunday that are going to be at the Knitting Factory, Hump and Hannah's, the Balcony, the Egyptian Theater, Karma, Ten Barrel Brewing. Those all cost money to go to or to buy tickets to or to purchase food. But the festival at the park will be free. And that is um, from Friday through Sunday. And on Friday, September 13th, um, the festival will be going from 5.30 p.m. through 10 p.m., and there's going to be a fireworks show and the lighting of the Capitol with, you know, the rainbow colors cool. um, from 10 to 10, 15. So, yeah, that's that is always they always do such a fantastic job with the fireworks. And I always love to get a picture of the Capitol all lit up with the pride colors, with the fireworks in the background. It's just it's iconic at this point. And then Saturday, the festival will be going from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And. 
Uh, I will actually be emceeing on the main stage from 11.45 to 2. So if you want to come say hi or see what's going on, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be repping CityCast and we'll be having a great time. And that will actually be the day that they have the hometown drag show, which is always a big hit. Um, they're also going to be having uh, some special performances from local queer Latin performers that day. And they're going to be having a pet show. And that was a huge hit last year, everybody bringing <laughs> their pets. So uh, make sure you check out the website, get signed up for that. And then on Sunday, there's going to be a parade. It starts at North, North 9th and West Jefferson Streets. Um, and that's starting at 9 a.m. this year because they've had so many entries for the parade. So it's starting an hour earlier at 9 a.m. And then the festival in the park will be going from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And they've, they've got some amazing headliners this year. We've got the Aces. We've got Crystal Waters, Carly Hansen. Safira Cristal. Um, it's just, it sounds like it's going to be a really, really amazing uh, Pride Festival for the 35th year. Ooh, I'm excited. And I want to see you MC. I know. I've never done it before. I'm a little <laughs> really nervous. <great>. How fun. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm a big fan of Pride being in September, honestly. There was this, we went to go grab brunch and we were walking, heading over to you know, the main event and everything. And I see this couple, they're eating breakfast and they're like, Hey, what are, what's going on over there? Like what's happening? And I was like, Oh, we're, we're celebrating pride. Like it's our pride event. And they're just like, what? And I was like, yeah, it's, and they're like, but it's, it's not June. And I was like, yeah, we're, it's September over here. Um, and they were like, Oh, like, is it free? And I was like, Oh my God. Yes. Like come over here, come hang out, come join. They were visiting from Seattle. They were so excited. And Went to go spend the day over there. All right. Well, thank you both so much for joining us for the September guide. I love these ideas. There's so much to check out. You, you guys are going to have a full month if you follow our guide. Um, and just thank you again, Katie and Evelyn. Thank yeah, you. Thank Thanks you, too. Me. I will be signing both of you up to join my kayak on the Indian Creek. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Come watch us. We'll, we will be floundering, but having a good time. Sounds great. Thank you. 